This guide to the Traffic's Infrared Trail Counter is presented to you by the Ohio LTAP Center. When you request a Traffic's Infrared Trail Counter from the Ohio LTAP Center, you will receive a guidebook, the trail counter itself, metal urban housing, a Murphy clamp, a chain, and a master lock. The Traffic's Infrared Trail Counter counts people walkers, hikers, joggers, inline skaters, horseback riders, and cyclists, etc. on trails, paths, and sidewalks. It senses and detects the infrared wavelength that people admit. Unlike other trail counters, it does not require a receiving unit or a reflector to operate. This results in a very compact and unobtrusive design that reduces risk of vandalism. The Traffic's Infrared Trail Counter also works well in winter conditions on snowshoe, ski, and snowmobile trails. This versatile counter has proven itself from Alaska to Australia, from mountains to deserts, and from wilderness areas to urban areas. Next will be a brief bit video describing how to set up the trail counter for use. It is important for you to note that you are required to record the latitude and longitude points of each location you place the counter, how long the counter has remained at each location, as well as photo documentation of where and how you installed the counter. To remove the counter, please reverse the steps and make note of the time and duration it was at every location. Hi there! So today I'm going to be showing you how to install your Trafex trail counter into your urban housing. So first I'm going to show you this is the urban housing. You can hang it up on any pole, tree, or wood pole. So to start you're going to take the trail counter itself and place it into the housing. It's a bit of a tight squeeze but it will fit. And from there, you're going to put the laser itself onto the wood block inside. From there, you will attach it with two, two screws. As you can see here, you'll screw it into these holes on the other side of the laser. And then your trail counter will be secure inside of the box. From there, you're going to close it and lock the box so everything is safe and secure. And then you can turn it over, and this is where you will attach your Murphy clamp, the Murphy clamp, to the urban housing box. It goes through these two slits right here on the back, right there. So you slide it through. And then you can clamp this onto any tree or pole of either metal or wood. And this will allow you to track how many things cross path through the infrared laser. Thanks! Now that you know how to set up and install your Traffic's infrared trail counter, get out there, get counting! Once you have collected all your data, return the counter to the Ohio LTAP Center. We will download your data into a user-friendly Excel document and email it to you. The Excel document will contain columns on the date, the hour, the count, and the lat long points. As you can see from the sample data posted, we left the Traffix Trail Counter out in front of the ODOT main office from 3 p.m. Monday, January 6th to 11 a.m. Wednesday, January 8th, 2020, in a singular location, collecting 919 people passing through the trail counter's range. Please note, you must photograph the installation and record the lat long point and the duration of every location you place the trail counter. Your data will also then be added to the MS2 non-motorized database system. The MS2 non-motorized database system is an ODOT publicly accessible pedestrian, bike, and or wheelchair data dashboard. This dashboard system allows you to quick or advanced search data which local agencies can use. 
The link to this dashboard is listed in the description of this video.